So I have started the recording, but let me share my screen again. Yeah, so uh, we are going to use the same data set which we have used in the last session as well of Excel dashboard. So this is the e commerce data. Uh, and in that we have these KPIs. KPIs are nothing but key performance indicator which shows how well the business is working or how well uh, the business is actually happening. Okay. And now tab view is one of the tool which uh, has been used by many uh, MNCs or many uh, tank giants for creating visualization. Okay. So Power BI, you, uh, you all must have heard about Power BI. So tabbing is one of the tool of the same thing, which helps us to create visualization. So I'll just quickly take you to the tab the public. Now, uh, in the start of the session, we, uh, uh, Pushparaj has explained that Tableau, like basically in Tableau, we have two parts. One is Tableau desktop. That is a professional version. And second one is Tableau public. So for the session, uh, I am going to use the Tableau public version. Now, uh, Tableau public version is completely free version. Uh, which uh, uh, you can have through internet. So when we will start with the action course curriculum in that we will take a brief overview. We will uh, we'll see how to download Tableau Public. Uh, due to time question, I won't be able to show you that. But Tableau Public is actually free. So you can uh, use it without uh, needing to pay anything. Okay. Uh, with using your normal email ID also, you would be able to uh, use Tableau Public. Okay, so uh, Tableau Public is something which we are going to use. And now there are certain restrictions which we have on Tableau, Tableau Public compared to Tableau's desktop version. Obviously, as it is a free, so there would be some features uh, lacking over here. Uh, but for our use case, it is sufficient enough. For practice, Tableau Public is sufficient enough. Okay, uh, in course curriculum, we are going to understand what is the difference between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Public as well. Uh, what are the advantages you get when you get uh, go to the Tableau Desktop Professional version and all those differences we are going to learn over there. But for now, uh, today we are going to focus on uh, only creating dashboard. Okay, and how uh, uh, beautiful or how uh, important it would be to create a dashboard. Okay, so... As the data set I have in Excel, so when we open Tableau, this is something as a main screen you are going to get. So on front screen only, on the very left hand side, we get option to connect data. So the file which I have, it is in Excel. I need to close this file for now. Uh, I'll go to the Microsoft Excel, then as it is a locally stored file, so I just need to go to the location where I have stored that file. So I just keep, uh, kept it in on the desktop only. So I'll just select that file, then click on open. Now, apart from the locally stored file, you can connect the file which you have stored on Google Drives as well. That is something we can do in Tableau Public. Okay, yeah. Uh, when it comes to connecting files from databases, databases like uh, C so, uh, SQL or MySQL. So that is something we don't have uh, in Tableau Public that is available in Tableau Desktop. So that is uh, one of the difference. That is something we'll keep, uh, we'll uh, discuss afterward. But for now, we'll go ahead. Now, as and when we connect any data on the right hand side, uh, sorry, on the left hand side, you get the sheets which are available in that uh, data set uh, like uh, for now we have connected Tableau uh, sorry for now we have connected the Excel sheet so in that Excel sheet we have uh, two sheets so I'll open that Excel sheet now just to show you yeah so there we have two sheets KPI and orders same two sheets are available or visible over here so we need to have the data of orders like uh, how many orders was uh, taken from all the e-commerce platform. That is something we want to see. So that's why I'm going with the orders table. So uh, to connect data with tab, you just need to drag, click, drag and drop it in the blank area. 
So when we drag and drop it, Tableau accept that data, it loads it and below we can see the preview. Okay. Now this entire section we are going to learn in very depth uh, in the main course curriculum. For now, I will switch to the main sheet where we are going to create charts. Okay. Uh, hello, boss. Uh, yes. Can you, yeah. Sorry for the disturbance. Can you please post the uh, data set for our work? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, sure. So I'll uh, share this data with uh, Need Data Community and then uh, share it with you. Okay. If it works. Actually, the thing is, uh, I have connected that file with the tab view, so it will not allow it will not allow me to share it right away. That's the only reason I can't share it right away. So I'll share it with them and then share it uh, with you. Okay. Okay, right, sir. Okay, so uh, I'll, I I have just pushed to the main sheet where I went to creating uh, charts. For see, uh, dash group. Now, see, before proceeding further, you need to have some uh, idea about dashboard. Now, what is dashboard exactly? Dashboard is nothing but a bunch of charts over there for presenting different KPIs uh, all together on a single sheet. Like one chart would be presenting some different data, other chart would be presenting to some different data. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to visualization, each and every chart have some different purpose. Like you can't use every chart for every kind of data. Okay. Uh, for example, if we have bar chart or column chart, so that way that can be uh, used for presenting data where one numeric data and one non numeric data is present. Okay. And those who don't have uh, much idea about uh, the different data type uh, in main school, main course curriculum, we are going to do it from very scratch. So there uh, everything will be covered. But basically, uh, in school days, we used to uh, draw graphs, right? So on x-axis, we plot something. On y-axis, we plot something. Kind of similar things we are uh, going to do over here. Okay. So uh, bar graph is something which we use when we have one numeric and one non-numeric data. Uh, line chart is something where, which we use when we want to show the progress. Okay. So uh, similarly, each and every chart have some different purpose and uh, likewise, whenever we require, we use those charts. Okay. So the sheet which I have opened over here now. Now, first KPI which we have that is top 10 revenue gener uh, generating countries. Now, see, before proceeding for the visualization, creating visualization, you should be knowing your data. Okay. It is not like uh, you will get some data and you will just start right away, start creating it. You should study that data first. You should understand that data first very uh, in depth and then only you can move for creating visualization as and when it requires. Okay. So as this data is publicly available, like uh, you can uh, easily search it on web as well. This is e-commerce data is available and which was after the session, I'll share it uh, with the need data, data community as well. Uh, so I know this data. That's why I can proceed on it directly. But for you, whenever you are going to start creating visualization, you need to study that data. You need to understand that, that data first and then only you can proceed ahead. Okay. So uh, the first key pair is uh, top 10 revenue generating countries. So here we have on the very, on very top, we have country, state and city. This is one hierarchy which got created automatically in tablets. Now there is some uh, automation happens uh, in the back end of Tableau as well. Uh, where some fields Tableau create automatically, there we don't need to put effort from our sites. Tableau does it for uh, Tableau does it does that for us. Okay, so this is the hierarchy which Tableau has created for us. Okay, what is hierarchy? Uh, I hope you have uh, that little bit idea of, uh, of hierarchy. Hierarchy is nothing but the if I talk about a date. So in date, uh, on top year comes, then quarter, month, and day. So that is the hierarchy. Okay, so here we have countries and the first KPI is top 10 countries uh, with respect to revenue. So for creating chart for top 10 countries, I will be using country and then I'll take revenue is nothing but overall sales. So I will be taking sales. Then I will simply sort it. 
now as we are creating dashboard that's why i'm just uh creating it for now uh, uh you can take this session as uh you are just seeing what tab you can that's it okay all the different sections of tab that is something we are going to understand afterward but for now in today's session we are just seeing what tab you can do okay uh yeah so now i want to see the top 10 yeah so top or top 10 in terms of sales i want to see countries so i'll just drag and drop the countries in the filter session there are some certain shelves we have so from the was filter is one of the shelf we have over there so i'll use that shelf Okay, and then up to an extent we can do a beautification as well as and when we want so i'll just turn on the labels then i'll just bring this enter this is the first key yeah so i'll just quickly rename this as top 10 countries Countries. I'll add another sheet. Now, second KPI that would be uh, top three profitable market. I want to see the data for markets which are for well, which were profitable. Top three. Okay. So for that, I'll create a pie chart. angle and we want top three so for that i'll just take this then. similar process i am repeating only in the place of top three or top ten i would be using top three then i just activate their labels as well perfect So this is the second chart. So top three market for profit. Third KPI is top 10 product for profit ratio. Now for profit ratio, we need to have, and now here in this data, I know that profit is there, sales is there, but we don't have the field for profit ratio. Profit ratio is nothing but profit divided by sales. So in tab view, now see for this, I don't need to go back over here and uh, need to add another column for the calculation of profit ratio. I can do that in the tab view itself. For so tab view gives me the gives us the flexibility that any calculation if required, we can add a new field over there for performing that calculation. So Profit ratio and profit ratio is nothing but profit divided by sales of line and that will got added over. So we'll see how it works. So we as per the KPIs, we need top 10 product for profit ratio. So we need to have the product list over there. So I'll take product over here in the rows and then I will bring profit ratio over there. I'll just quickly sort it and after that I'll bring product name in the filter. We want top 10 so same process and repeat. Now you might think why I'm using the top categories again and again but if you uh, think in terms of business point of view so we that's how we work out there right we see the top performers and the bottom performers and the average performers as well so that's why this is very useful in that term okay oh uh, yeah so this is basically a uh, chart first let me see which yeah here we created a column chart now here we are going to create a bar chart okay yeah bar chart and column chart although they are looking same but the visual representations are different so yeah we can use them simultaneously product name 
that or rather I will just this Once I now back to with the labels. The third. So then so the for profit ratio. Well this profit ratio is showing me the sum of profit ratio, but we don't want the sum of profit ratio. So I'll just change. Yeah. Change its format as well. This is the ratio. Ratio is something we see in terms of percentage. We are done with this KPI as well. I'll add another sheet. Next KPI is bottom five revenue generating subcategories. So subcategories. So we have taken bar chart, pie chart, and the yeah bar chart, column chart, and pie chart. Oh, so now let's try to create a donut chart. Now donut chart is nothing but look like a pie chart. Only, but having a hollow circle in the center. But see, the thing is, tableau. Why tableau is so uh, much costly? Like tableau is costly. Uh, or don't worry, you are not going to purchase it. Your company is going to purchase it for you. So company uh, purchases the license as an individual, and in which ways you won't be able to purchase it. Okay. Uh, so why Tableau is costly compared to Power BI? That is also one thing that Tableau is comparatively costly uh, to the Power BI. Power BI is a bit cheaper because in Tableau, uh, as a normal data analyst or as a normal data uh, visualization developer or visualization creator, you can create your own visual over there itself. In Power BI, we have restriction that the visuals which are available in the library as a data analyst I'm talking, uh, the visuals which are av available in the tool or in the Microsoft library, like uh, the Power BI library, only those you can use. But in Tableau, uh, by using some uh, combination, you can create your own as well. Okay. Now, PyChart is available directly over here. Like if I just show you, your PyChart is available directly. Uh, the donut chart is not available, but that is something I can create. Okay, uh, here in tab view, we can create donut chart of our own. So we'll create a donut chart quickly uh, for bottom five revenue generating subcategory. Okay, so we want we need to have the subcategories. I'll review and then I'll take this in the bottom revenue chamber. This is look, this is just a pie chart, right? Now, what I'll do, I'll create what the team will touch. Then for second arbitrary free, I'll trip on everything. Then I'll just increase the size of first one. Watch what pay now. And then I'll make the other one auto. And there are some options available in the tab too, which I can use to simply convert. And this is how easily I can create tab uh, donor chart in tab. Okay, so I'll just quickly 
अनेबल तो दे सर सब कैटेगरी यानी टू ट्रैग एंड ड्रॉप दिस कैन वन वन दिस प्लेइंग इट ओवर हियर सामने रावण ये दैट्स वेरी गुड फंटो ओके सो दिस इज द डोनट बट या द एवेंचुअल गोल द एंड गोल वॉज बॉटम फाइव रविंग जेंट सो आई जस्ट नीड टू सॉट इट based on bottom five so along with top we do have optional bottom as five then we are we kept as say so these are the bottom five subcategories which are not generating revenue so well bottom five revenue जानना बेटा सब कर दें रेवेन्यू पर ईकॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ इन आर डेटा एस इट इस ईकॉमर्स डेटा सो इन आर डेटा वी हैव सम मार्केट्स ओके सो लेट्स सी व्हिच ईकॉमर्स मार्केट्स आर अवेलेबल या ईकॉमर्स साइट्स So we do we do have data of Amazon, Flipkart, and Snapdeal. So as per Amazon, Flipkart, and Snapdeal, how much overall revenue we get per e-commerce site? That is something we want to see. So we are uh, we got roughly around around roughly same. There are some minor differences in the amount, but yeah, roughly same. So we which which chart we should go now? uh we have taken bar chart we have taken uh pie chart donut chart and column chart as well let's see some chart available over here yeah so i'll go with this one now this is a bubble chart this we we call this as a pie bubble chart okay yeah. we do have labels of the site left well, okay. and Italy. The new power e com, okay. And I repeat, we are not covering how, uh, like we are not learning tab. We are just seeing what tab you can do. Next. Okay. And then the remaining KPIs will come out quickly. We are done till five. Then uh, revenue growth per year. So how much revenue will we got per year? That is something we want to see. So see when it comes to see the data per year, it is a kind of progress. Like the, compared to last year, how much growth? Are, uh, how much revenue we got in current year? That is something we want to see. So that is a kind of growth or yeah, that is a kind of growth only, a uh, progress. So for saying that we use line chart, okay, but we should be having at least one date field. So we do have order date. So we are going to see order date. You use order date. So we do have data of four years over there, uh, twenty twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we'll keep this over here. I'll keep that in that view, and then the value here. So it shows me the line chart. Five. So each year in each month, how much we got? That is on D. We would be able to see it. So if we want, we can bring the label as well. I'll just change its formatting. Yeah. 
then total revenue and total profit that is something we want to see now so for that the simple one single number of we will have entire we will keep total revenue will keep this alignment the center change its format Magic will be we can add the symbol as well over this and then and go with the sites that is too big this is the same so it's done the value and next up we click on profit and it will get Bank. The last one is number of products that sold per year. Oh, this total profit. The last one. Is total number of product got sold per year. So number of product is nothing but quantity and per year that is again order date. So we'll go with that. We'll keep it over here. Because quantity is so when convert this into a normal part. And then I'll drive it quantity the label. A blind man. I'll keep the color as it is all. Else we can change the color if you want. Can go with the green or navy body. Then for photo, I will go orange is too bright for the for the black. This bit is good. Okay, so require the wall. One city per year. Okay. So required KPIs we have for required KPIs we have created different charts. But the end goal is to create dashboard. Now for dashboard we have a separate page in tab. So till now I was adding new worksheets only. But beside that we have option we do have option of new dashboard now this is not the only place where somewhere i can add a new sheet or new dashboard we do have some other areas as well but for now i'm just adding it quickly from here so new dashboard now you can see on the very left hand side in the center we have all the sheets available which we have just created okay so we are going to use those only Now we start arranging them one by one. Okay, that's good for me. Hold that. This from here. 
start sharing. Can you just this arrange them quickly for you? Top three products. Here you are. The required one is bottom. Now, in this chart, we can do a really beautiful formatting as well, but due to time constraint, I am avoiding it. I am not doing it for now. But yeah, we can do the formatting, uh, which looks uh, quite good. The in the end with just very like and getting over the ten just that is it. Well, then you really size that can get smaller or the Okay, I'm just adjusting the size of the profit counseling so that that was the risk. But how this is something you are going to do, like depending on how much stuff you have on your dashboard, you would be adjusting uh, things over there. Okay, I'll just play text. Or a clear in the type that is if he covers the dollars anyone is to just see a cat the bigger and I'll take something. Better pay you. Okay. Two. It's an adjustment. Back to text. Slip down in the center. Take my eye. That was so 
Aynı başka bir tekrar So there's something I can do with everything, but for now, this is just a group of chart. Nothing is happening, right? Like if I click anywhere, it just shows some data. Now there is something, or uh, just a quick uh, connection. Like in W, we need to create connections. We do have different various options for creating connections in charts. But very quick option for creating connection is click on any of the chart. There on the right hand side or maybe left hand or bottom or somewhere, you will get these four options. That is remove, data go to sheet and use of the filter and four twice more options. We just need to click on this use of the filter. And there's something we'll do on channel the chart. That's a click. Now we are going to learn this as well in very depth in main sessions. But yeah, as I have enabled the filters, now when I click on any of the chart, other chart will show me the relevant data only. Now previously it was uh, like nothing was happening, but now it will show me only relevant data. See so if I click over here, in other charts it will show me the relevant data. See, if I click on any of the market, now suppose I'm on ECR Pacific. So for all charts, it will show me the data for ECR Pacific. Okay. So that's how uh, the tableau is actually important for creating visualization. Okay, so that something has happened with these. So let me just edit caption. Yeah, that's So yeah, this is basic tab dashboard and like session was started around uh nine twenty I guess and it took me around thirty minutes to create this dashboard. For my thing, I have not done, but simply I have just taken one data set, created some, some charts, as I have idea about that data. So it was very easy to understand exactly from where I need to which field. Okay. So that is basic. That is the basic thing you need, you need to understand your data process. And then you can easily create any uh, visualization in tab. Now, learning tab is not that hard as well. Okay. So when we will start with our actual course curriculum in that each and every department where we are like each and every section of the tab where we cover. And it is not that hard. But now when we will start practicing it and when we will start doing it on different kind of data sets, it, it becomes very easy to understand each and every section. Okay. Uh, multiple uh, custom charts we are going to cover here. You uh, might not ever have heard about uh, Butterfly chart, a uh, thermometer chart, or uh, or gate chart, pump chart. These are the charts in Power BI. They have some restrictions, but in Tab, we can create them manually, and they would look like very. Though those would look very beautiful. Okay, so that is something we are going to cover. Okay, then uh, uh, I can uh, stop the session over here. And yeah, over to you, uh, Pushpalaj. Uh, thank you so much for this session. And uh, thank you for creating this e-commerce shell dashboard from the basic understanding the tableau concept. Okay. So if anyone required from the detail of the course curriculum that will be a launch over data on this course, it's a weekend batch on 18th of May. Okay. And the course price, I already declared with you the 10,000 rupees, the course price. Okay. And uh, let me share my screen. So I'll just explain the course curriculum detail that first I'll cover the particular domain and then we'll be start the project also. 
and after completing the projects then you are eligible from the mock interview rounds and that will providing the mock interview and then if, if you clear the mock interviews then we will start your placements regarding process okay that will provide in the placement supports so from the detail overview from this course so it's screen is visible for everyone okay so in this course i'll just explain all the uh, domain of the data analyst like python okay and in python that will cover all the concept like basic of python functional module data structure object oriented programming file handling input outputs advanced python concept lambda function numpy pandas matplotlib libraries database sqls how to connect sqls in a python code read update object relation mining and the text i'm providing the certification from this course okay free workshop involvement in a python building a project portfolio live session lifetime access of recording resume building session interview question preparation study groups placement supports a linkedin professional brand code okay and from i just cover the power bi with same topic like introduction of installation power bi interface data source financial data analysis in power bi okay then power bi and artificial intelligence visualization technique dax real time applications power query editor data modeling advanced visualization technique tax expressions power bi services will cover in power bi model then we'll cover excel also the next shall we cover the ms office version like simply and names of range referencing logical function referring data in different table advanced function that text function okay and data function we use upper lower proper left right all the concept that will be cover okay data summarization pivot table bb and macro also that will be cover and tableau we also will cover like introduction of tableau that variation tableau file data type data source basic chart and formatting okay bar chart stacker chart line chart other chart also that will be cover filters calculation all the topics will be covered in this session so if anyone will be required this concept so please let me know and that i'll share the contact detail already in whatsapp group okay so thank you for joining this session and that anyone required from data information so please let me know i'll just uh, already share my contact detail in whatsapp group okay so that will be connect on me in whatsapp i'll just explain all the browser and morning that will be receive the recording on your mail id and youtube channel that we will also providing the link okay so you can watch the video also for your practice purpose okay anyone have doubt